Hello everyone, this is Moot, and this is the spotlight of our Conquest PvP server. In this episode, we spotlight the kingdom of the Stormcrows. The Stormcrows are the wild, lawless tribe that live in the dense forests of the north, and they worship the fierce, blood nature god of Fen. The whole point of this uh, tribe is to just raid and to kill. Uh, they're bloodthirsty, and they don't really care how you do it, just get the job done. Uh, in order to become a follower of Fen, we need to go pick and plant sprouts. Remember we talked about uh, there's that duality between the Ball, the um, the Bomani, and uh, the Storm Crows. Well, the, the god of the Bomani is uh, Sebek, and then the god of the Storm Crows is Fen. Fen wants you to plant sprouts, while the Bull, uh, Sebek wants you to destroy trees. So we're gonna you have to create a sickle, and you're gonna go up and you're gonna pick sprouts. And you find a tree that is old enough to take a sprout from. Activate your sickle. And pick sprout. And there it is. We got a sprout. And then in order to become a priest, we actually have to sacrifice an animal. It happens that I have a sacrificial knife. This sacrificial knife takes a little bit to create, actually. Um, if we go here, we can look at the sacrificial knife. You have to create a blade. And then uh, you have to use kind of a massive amounts of, of jewels. You can get these through praying, which what I would recommend doing that. Just kind of spamming praying until you have enough rubies, sapphires, and diamonds. And uh, then you can create. The quality of the knife really does not matter. So you don't have to worry about that. And the animal does not matter. So we're going to kill this, this sheep. This spotless lamb. This is going to be our, our sacrifice. Uh, this is the starting town of uh, the, the Storm Crows. Crow Hill. And uh, they sure do like their decorations. Huh? Look at this. Rugs. Ooh, food. Let's taste that. And I'm full, so I don't get anything. Anyway, so you, we lead the animal to the altar. We activate our knife. Right-click the animal, and we sacrifice. You have no DDD. Oh, shoot. So maybe I actually have to plant this sprout before I become. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and plant this sprout. So you activate the sprout. Nature. And pl we're plant in the center. Sadly, you will now pray to Finn. Okay, so even if the sprout doesn't doesn't work, we will still still become followers. So we just became a follower of Finn. Awesome. Okay, little guy, here we go. Someone's talking to us in global chat. Nope, no one's talking to us in global chat. I would recommend that if you are a new player and you start on the server, you go ahead and yell in global, uh, you know, I'm a new player looking for a deed. And there are people who want to help you because they believe in PvP and they want to be a part. Uh, they want to help you be a part of it. Uh, there it goes. Fen is pleased with your sacrifice and grants you magical powers. Congratulations. And my faith is up. And now I have a statue. So on this server, all priests use the same statue, Finora statue. Period. Uh, that allows you to kill a player, take a statue, start casting spells. We can go ahead and we can, uh, you know, find any sort of altar. You can make your own altar and you can just spam. You can sp spam the prayer. It takes, you know, really... Uh, two you know two seconds three seconds in order to pray and as you go up and then if you right click on it you can do a spell list and we can see that uh each god has their own unique spell list you know m all of them i believe have the same um uh, crafting spells like bless in the dark or coc or winds of ages or something like that uh but uh other flavor spells might be different like lurker in the woods or lurker in the deep uh, for the Rohan because they're fishermen. 
Uh, in order to cast spells, pretty straightforward. You activate your statuette, and you can then uh, cast a spell, either bless or there's not really any. We'll just cast a spell on ourselves here. We're do uh, morning fog, and there I am. I cast morning fog. Perfect. Uh, we're going to go ahead and t go to Fen's holy site. If you want to become a champion of Fen, you know that you need to get 60 faith, all right, just by praying, and then you need to go to Fen's holy site. And if we look up into the sky, we can see the holy site over there. See how close that is? It's it's bigger than that one over there. We're just gonna go straight there. I have my mini map open. I noticed that there's trees. It's just beautiful here. Look at this. It's just so much different than those other two kingdoms that we looked at. Um, Rohan or the Bomani. The Bomani being desert. Rohan being kind of flat river land. And here in the Storm Crows, uh, it's just beautiful evergreens. Tundra. Rolling hills. Uh, uh, Taylor did a great job at making the map. I believe he made it in World Painter. And so he added a lot of customization. Probably spent... Uh, quite a bit of time. World Painter is not the easiest program to use. Um, at least not for me. Uh, I haven't taken a long time uh, to master it. And I'm sure it takes quite a bit to master it. So what can we know about the Storm Crows? Well, the Storm Crows uh, are like a lot of other kind of fantasy highland raiders they prefer axes so think of like the vikings right axes and shields so any sort of axe large axe huge axe um, and then just kind of a regular axe it's going to give you the combat rating bonus and uh, we've talked about a couple times the combat rating bonus uh, being a um, the cr bonus plus two for every combat rating bonus is a plus five to your fight skill so we look at skills, we know that we start off with 40 fighting. And if I'm wearing an axe or if I'm holding an axe, not a hatchet, but an actual axe, uh, it will give me a plus 10 to that fight skill. Um, uh, one thing I didn't talk about is actually there is a decrease in deed upkeep cost and deed creation cost. So it doesn't take you the normal 4.2 silver in order to create a deed. It's less than that. I don't know what the actual what the actual price is, but it is less than that. It'd be interesting to be a follower fan, kind of that uh, deep, evil, bloodthirsty forest god. We're just going to go over here to the to the holy place and take a look and see what it looks like. So beautiful hills. Wow. Kind of kind of this unique unique way to play the game. Um looks really interesting. Kind of like how this is kind of separate from everything so when you're priesting up it's not going to be very easy to be attacked remember there's that 40 uh 40 tile range local so you may be surprised because by the time someone gets close enough to you uh they're able to to run at you pretty quickly uh i like it because it adds a lot of surprise to pvp that normally wouldn't be there in uh, Worm Online or uh, traditional Worm Unlimited servers, if we can say that there's traditional Worm Unlimited servers. Almost there. Lots of monsters to kill. Wonderful. Yep. I know that Taylor has a lot of things planned for the server. He wants to do an overhaul on the on the shield system right now the uh, really the only two viable shields are large metal shields and large wooden shields because they uh, add uh, they just have such a large block radius large metal shield being the 
the most popular because of its it's heavier and it does more damage during shield bashing. Um, and then there's also unique mobs uh, that has been added called fog. Let's see, goblin, goblin pioneers. Um, and every time you kill one of these goblin pioneers, they have a chance to creating or to dropping three specific items: either a yellow potion, a uh, crafting potion such as a mining potion, or a uh, a potion for uh, increased skill gain or increased combat rating, 100 quality each. So, here's our um, here's our wonderful holy temple to our stormcrow god Fen, and uh, it looks like maple, willow, pine, oak, and linden. These are different trees tree types that are in worm um worm and wow wonderful so when you get 60 faith you come in here right click and become a champion kind of cool kind of creates this foggy foggy area adds to the flavor of it so in summary um storm crows are the hill country viking uh, warriors that pillage, raid, and follow the bloodthirsty god of Fen, who wants you to plant trees and to maintain the forest and protect the forest uh, from all things evil, including uh, the evil god of the Bomani, uh, Sebek, and to destroy those rich river folk who um, don't know how to fight. So I hope you enjoy the server. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and uh, uh, leave a comment below or go to the official Worm Online server and the server owner can get back to you. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on.